Hi, welcome to the UCI Department of Pathology and Lab Medicine. I'm Ed Minuki, a Professor and Chair of the department. Uh, welcome to uh, our Anatomic Pathology Division. And this is the grossing room where the specimens come from the operating rooms um, where we take care of the specimens um, on behalf of our surgeons and other clinical colleagues. So the UCI Department of Pathology and Lab Medicine is made up of several different divisions that cover the discover, teach, and heal missions. So on the heal side, the clinical side, we're in anatomic pathology, which is made up of surgical, autopsy, and cytopathology. We also have in Douglas Hospital, where we're sitting right now, we also have a rapid response laboratory, hematology, and the blood bank. We also have another large clinical division, which is called clinical pathology or laboratory medicine. And those include the divisions such as microbiology, chemistry, and um, molecular diagnostics. In addition to those, we obviously have a, as an academic department, we have a large research operation. Um, many of those are on the Irvine campus where they have their research laboratories. So in anatomic, uh, pathology. These are the grossing stations here where some of the uh, specimens are taken care of. And here we have a senior pathology assistant, uh, Kayla, who's taking care of some of our patients right now. As we come over here, these are some of the, some of the other equipment associated with anatomic pathology, the cassette labels, and where we take care of the frozen specimens. So the intraoperative consultations uh, while the patient is still on the operating room table uh, so we can get an answer to them uh, right away. Okay. So with that, why don't we move on to our next area of pathology. You are now in the microbiology division of the UCI Department of Pathology and Lab Medicine. So this is where uh, the testing goes for any of our infectious diseases. We have a lot of high-end equipment a mass spectrometer over there. And of course, of interest right now, we have four different platforms running COVID-19 testing. Um, one of them that's visible right here, this is the Genmark ePlex system. We have another set of uh, RT-PCR uh, machines on Abbott um, in another room down here. We also have uh, the Cepheid platform for our stat testing, uh, which is down around the corner here. Um, this gives me an opportunity to talk a little bit more about our TEACH mission. Uh, we do a lot of teaching, particularly to residents and fellows uh, coming through microbiology and our other clinical pathology divisions. We have a lot of different training programs for medical students, the residents and fellows. We also have a PhD program in experimental pathology, the only clinical department to have a uh, basic science PhD development, come on over. And um, as well, we have training programs for uh, laboratory staff, so clinical laboratory scientists and CLS, uh, many of whom you'll see in the background here, as well as phlebotomists and pathology assistants who uh, mainly serve uh, in the anatomic pathology division. Uh, we have another um, I, I think, uh, outstanding set of mentoring and training programs that are geared towards our uh, junior faculty and our laboratory staff, a program that we call the Professional Development Program, which involves a selection of uh, fellows as well as lectures and uh, workshops during the year. And finally, the last piece I might uh, talk about uh, regarding teaching um, would be uh, some of the fellowship growth that we've had over the recent uh, last five years. Uh, we now have six different fellowship programs, um, three non-ACGME programs in GI pathology, women's health, also in a board approved research track fellowship, and now three ACGME accredited uh, fellowship programs in cytopathology, hematopathology, and neuropathology. And we have a few others uh, uh, that are in development, and we are also heavily involved with the Clinical Informatics Fellowship for UCI Health as a whole. 
Uh, and with that, uh, why don't we move on to the next area? So you are now in the histology laboratory in what we call building 54. So this is where all of that uh, tissue that we saw processed in anatomic pathology, this now gets processed by our histotechnologists and others here to prepare them onto slides, to get them stained, uh, and then to be looked at by our residents and our faculty to be able to provide diagnoses for our patients. You can see in the, in the background, we have the hospital, um, and as well over towards this area, you can see the big A for Anaheim Stadium, um, as well as Disneyland's in, in that area over here. So this area is also centrally involved in many of our research missions for the department. So this gives me an opportunity to talk a little bit about those. So the histology lab is very instrumental for what we call the biorepository and the experimental tissue resource. So as pathology and lab medicine, we are the legal stewards for the tissue that uh, come from patients. And we then provide those to researchers uh, across UCI Health as well as uh, uh, researchers outside of UCI Health as well. And so we, uh, the tissue is processed here for research as well as um, uh, inventoried and uh, annotated um, by the biorepository. We have a growing number of primary faculty in pathology that have their own independent NIH funded research programs, a growing number of joint appointed faculty as well, many of them in clinical departments who don't otherwise have access to the PhD graduate students in our experimental pathology program. Separately, we have some research funding for the residents and faculty, as well as a new research curriculum that we're going to be rolling out for residents, fellows, and junior faculty that are interested in that. And so that covers some of the highlights for our Discover mission um, as we look at the histology lab.